It's our top local story. Nearly two dozen dogs at a local shelter have been put down. Now we've learned they apparently came down with a contagious, fast-moving virus. Now the sick animals were put down to stop the virus from spreading. And tonight, we're digging deeper to find out how it affects animals and what's being done to protect other dogs. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado is live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with what he's learned. Well, Karen and Mike, the Providence Animal Shelter is quarantined tonight. No other dogs are being taken in. And we talked to a vet tonight who says putting these dogs down, euthanizing them, may be the best way to protect your animals at home. Here at the Providence Animal Shelter, 21 pit bulls have been put down in recent days following an outbreak of the Parvo virus. We talked to veterinarian Dana Brown who says the virus spreads easily through feces and makes a dog sick quickly. It makes the dog really, really sick and lethargic and a profuse watery diarrhea that makes it dehydrated. All dogs can get parvo, but pit bulls, rottweilers, and puppies are especially susceptible. Parvo is fatal to dogs without treatment of costly antibiotics. And Brown says in a shelter where resources are limited, euthanizing the dogs is sometimes the best option for protecting other animals. When you have parvovirus, what you don't want is for those dogs to be adopted out, for the parvovirus to spread, for them to develop parvovirus after they're adopted, then to put that family's dogs at risk. The shelter has been quarantined since July 7th and no other dogs are being taken in while workers disinfect the shelter to stop the spread of the virus in the hopes of saving the lives of other canines. And it's very easy to avoid this virus. Simply have your animals vaccinated. In the meantime, any animals picked up by Providence Animal Control are being taken to Pawtucket. We should also mention no one here was available to speak with us tonight. We're live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.